So in March 2015, we launched the Second Century Plan. And over the last four years, we've been discharging that plan and giving credibility to that plan because we're following that plan exactly as we promised. And we launched the first three cars of that plan, the DB11, the Vantage, and the DBS Superleggera. Back in 2015, we also gave a vision for the SUV, car number four, the DBX. Last year, we put in place the final part of the jigsaw puzzle, which was car number seven. Car number seven being the Lagonda uh, sedan. This year, we take the opportunity to complete the picture, put all the pieces in place for that seven cars in seven years. And we come along and you see today, you see that, that, that car number five and car number six. Car number five, the mid-engine supercar, car number six, the Lagonda SUV. Now you can see a complete picture. Now you can see how we're transforming Aston Martin, Aston Martin Lagonda into a world-class luxury company. We listed on the London Stock Exchange. It was part of the plan. It's an important part of the sustainability, but it's a long-term plan. Uh, and essentially, if you think about the sustainability, it's as much as anything, it's about the sustainability of the company post me, post the current management, because we have to make sure that we hand off the plan and the seven cars to a future generation under the auspices of, of good governance. In order to make sure that there is really a transfer of technology between Formula One car and Valkyrie, and ultimately into AMRB 003, and of course ultimately through to our road cars. Why? Because they're developed in the common campus. They're developed in Milton Keynes, in the Red Bull uh, facility. Our styling studio is there. Our advanced engineers are there. And all of that knowledge, all of that racing knowledge, culminates in the cars that you can see around me today.